What's up guys, it's Nicole, also known as Nikki Vegan, and welcome to part three of my week-long back-to-school lunch series. In today's video, I'm going to be addressing two big concerns that you told me that you have when packing your lunch. The first being not packing the right amount of food, which I totally understand. There's nothing more frustrating than when you get finished with your lunch and you're still kind of hungry, and then you kind of turn into like a little scavenger just eating whatever's around, or if you're anything like me, you make your way to a vending machine or some kind of snack cart and end up spending money you didn't want to spend, and eating food, maybe junkier food that you really didn't want to eat. So I have a recipe for you guys that's really versatile, it's really filling, and I think you guys are really gonna love it. There's also the issue of keeping your food cold throughout the morning. So I've teamed up with Packet Lunch Boxes to show you these really cute lunch boxes that you can actually store in your freezer. The walls of the lunch box actually freeze, so you don't have to put an extra ice pack in there, and it's gonna keep your food cold all morning long. I personally have two of them, and I love them, and Packet Lunch Boxes was really nice and decided to do a little giveaway so two of you guys are going to win a free lunchbox just in time for back to school but I will tell you more about that at the end of this video for now let's get started with the recipe so we are gonna make some grilled pesto tofu sandwiches and these are so satisfying, so filling. And for this, obviously you're going to need some pesto. So we're gonna take two very large handfuls of fresh basil and one handful of parsley. Then we're gonna take the juice of one lemon and add all of this straight into a food processor or high powered blender. Then we're gonna add some flavor with one clove of garlic, half of a teaspoon of sea salt, a quarter of a cup of water, and one tablespoon of olive oil, which is optional, but I recommend it because it makes it nice and smooth. I went ahead and blended this down because I was running out of room in my mini blender, but I also need to add one tablespoon of nutritional yeast and one ripe avocado to the mix. Blend this all up and you are going to get a creamy, flavorful pesto that is honestly so good on so many things. It's great for potatoes, it's great for pasta, it's great for sandwiches, like just as a spread as we're making today. I absolutely love this recipe. It's so versatile. So if you're meal prepping, go ahead and make this in bulk because it's awesome. Then we're going to need some extra firm tofu. I just go ahead and take this out of the package and pat it dry with some paper towels. And then we're gonna cut this into planks. This is the easiest shape I've found for sandwiches. It kind of stays in place and doesn't fall out all over the place. And then what I like to do is just put it on a hot grill pan for about two minutes on each side. You can definitely do this the night before or if you're making tofu for dinner, you can just make extra and have it for sandwiches for your lunch. So in the morning when I'm packing my lunch, I'm just going to take some bread, I'm going to put a very nice thick layer of our pesto on top, and then I'm gonna add some spinach and then layer on the grilled tofu. I just season the tofu with a little bit of sea salt, but you could also do a little bit of balsamic glaze on top of them if you like, or some crushed red pepper flakes is good. And then instead of tomatoes, I'm going to do some jarred roasted red peppers. This is the kind that comes in water, not oil, but either one will do. And it's a nice substitute for those of you who either don't like tomatoes or you just want something different than tomato, I find that the roasted red pepper really lends itself to more of the Italian flavors that we have going on with the pesto. And this is such a delicious combination and a really hearty sandwich that's gonna keep you full all day long because the tofu has a lot of protein and we've got fiber with the greens. And I like to pack some extra pesto on the side and then either have some crackers or some veggies to have with it. And then the more important part, the cookies. We're making cookies today because it's the middle of the week and you gotta have something sweet to treat yourself but still healthy so that we still feel good and energized throughout the week. So for this, you're going to need one cup of oats. I'm gonna put this right into my blender and blend it for about 10 to 15 seconds until it turns into oat flour. Then I'm gonna transfer the oat flour to a mixing bowl and do the same thing with one cup of walnuts. Then I'm gonna add two tablespoons of raw cacao powder and whisk this to combine. In a separate bowl, I'm gonna mix two teaspoons of chia seeds with three to five generous tablespoons of maple syrup. I do about three and it makes it not too sweet, but if you want more of a typically sweet cookie, I would definitely do five. Then I'm gonna add two tablespoons of almond milk and let this sit for about five minutes. Then I'm gonna mix the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients and mix it together until it becomes a nice chocolatey, fudgy cookie dough. And then stir in about two tablespoons of raisins or chopped dates. You could also do some chocolate chips as well, but I really love having the dried fruit in there because it kind of lends itself to the chewy texture of the cookie. And it's like little pearls of natural sugar all throughout the cookie, which I just think is delightful and pairs so well with the dark chocolate from the cacao. 
Then I'm gonna roll this mixture into balls. You should get about 12 cookies, and I put it on a parchment paper lined baking sheet and press the cookies down to form cookie shapes. These are gonna bake in a 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes, and when they're done, they're gonna be nice and set, really soft and chewy on the inside, and if you store them in an airtight container, they're gonna stay chewy for a couple of days, which is why I love meal prepping these. I'll usually make them in the afternoon. They take about 15 minutes from start to finish, and I have them throughout the week. Now, you should know, these are not super sugary sweet dessert-like cookies. These are more of like when you want something sweet but you still want something healthy that doesn't feel like a huge sugar bomb. They're kind of balanced and they've got that nuttiness from the walnuts and the bitter dark chocolate from the cacao. They're slightly sweet because of the natural sweetness of the dried fruit and they've got that nice chewiness. So it feels like a treat but it's also not like this crazy decadent dessert in the middle of your day, which I really love. So I'm gonna add that to my lunchbox. I'm also going to pack a mid-morning snack of some fresh grapes. I really like having a lunchbox that has different compartments, so I have room for a mid-morning snack and also an afternoon snack and then my lunch in the center. So I think that's a really great option. If I'm hungry or short on time, I could eat it all in one sitting or I could break it up throughout the day, but I love when I'm planning my lunch to be thinking, I need a mid-morning snack, I need an afternoon snack, and I need a hearty lunch. And that way, no matter how hungry I end up being throughout the day, I have options. Guys, that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up because it helps more people find my channel that way. And if you want to win one of these packet lunch boxes, then please go ahead and check out the description box below. You'll find a link to my Instagram where you will find a picture of me. I'm posing with a lunch box. I believe I'm eating a sandwich in the photo. So all you have to do is go ahead and follow me on Instagram, comment underneath that photo, and in one week's time, I will announce the two winners of the giveaway. I'm going to announce it on Instagram. So again, make sure you're following me there so you can keep up to date. Good luck to all of you and I will see you right back here tomorrow for another recipe. Bye!